right, here's how you're going to want to do a clone effect in iMovie 11. First, you're going to take a video of yourself, such as this one I have down here, drag it on into the project. Now, go to a video of yourself in a different location, but with the camera in the same exact spot, and get it to around the same time. Now, go ahead and drag that in. Put, put, it, put it right at the beginning, right on top of the other, and you'll find the advanced preferences right in here. Click green screen. And if you don't have this, you're going to have to go to preferences and choose advanced tools. Click green screen down there. And you'll have this sort of uh, weird thing going on. But first, uh, go ahead and go up here to the full and cropped and click cropped. And you'll have these little pullable things down here. Make sure that the brighter image can see your entire body and the darker one can also see your entire body. Frame it up and hit done. Now, what we're seeing right now is a pretty, uh, pretty dirty effect because it has a lot of smudges and weird stuff on one side, nothing on the other. And there's a line down the middle where you can see we made that cut. So, there is a way to fix this, fortunately. You're going to double click that, go to the video section, and we can do some color correction. One of the best ways to do this is uh, bring down the saturation. Just a teeny bit, about halfway, should usually do the trick. Uh, might ruin the mood if you're trying to have a happy scene. And uh, that'll look uh, better without all smudges. Although there is the line down the center, which can also be fixed by giving saturation away from the other one. And eventually bring down maybe a little bit of the contrast. And the lines basically will become invisible. The uh, color of each side of the image looks a little different. But, you know, for the sake of this... We'll assume that you have a little bit more time than me, and you can uh, finish that. Lastly, you're going to want to make sure that it's all timed out right. Go ahead and just pull this over there like that. And you'll come up with your effect. It should, uh, it should look a little something like this. Hey, it would be great if you could subscribe. I'm going to be putting plenty more tutorials on here. Next week, I'll show you how to do a time-stopping effect, so stay tuned. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, I'll answer them in the comments. See you next time.